The incoming CERN director recently said that the LHC upgrade could show us how the universe will end. That's quite an upgrade because so far it's merely been showing us how particle physics will end. But let's have a look at what this is all about. CERN, host of the currently largest particle collider in the world, the Large Hadron Collider LHC, will get a new director next year, a British experimentalist by the name of Mark Thompson. In an interview with The Guardian, he said that there's a particular measurement about the Higgs boson that's so fundamental to the nature of the universe which is when the proton collisions produce not one Higgs boson, but two Higgs bosons at the same time. The Guardian explains that this could reveal whether the Higgs field has reached a final stable resting state or whether a drastic transition could occur in the future, a scenario that would see the universe as we know it evaporate almost instantaneously. What he's talking about is the stability of the vacuum, that's the empty space underneath all the particles that matter is made of. We usually think of the vacuum as nothing, but particle physics has taught us otherwise. What we call the vacuum is really filled with the Higgs field. The Higgs field should not be confused with the Higgs boson. The Higgs field is an even condensate that forms in the early universe and that gives masses to particles by dragging on them. The Higgs boson, on the other hand, is a ripple on top of the condensate, metaphorically speaking. The reason we usually talk about the Higgs boson is that it's the only way we know how to confirm the presence of the field. This is why the Higgs boson discovery in 2012 was such a big deal. The Higgs boson has a particular property known as the self-coupling. That's basically what the name says, the strength by which it interacts with itself. It's a parameter in the standard model that isn't very well known because the best way way to infer it is from proton collisions that produce two Higgses, as Thompson said. You see examples of this in these diagrams. Going in left are two gluons which come from the protons and are marked with a G. Then there's stuff going on in the middle with top quarks and out come two Higgs bosons which interact with each other. It's been somewhat controversial whether the LHC will be able to measure this coupling or whether the the signal would just drown in noise. I'm guessing this is why Thompson is stressing the Guardian article that AI is going to help and why he says, now I'm confident we're going to make a good measurement. This Higgs boson self-coupling now is one of the parameters that determine the stability of the vacuum. By the presently possible estimates, it looks like the vacuum around us is very long-lived but not totally stable. It's a metastable stable state, as physicists say. This is much like if you shine light on a phosphorescent material. It'll kick an electron into an energy level where it can remain for some time. But ultimately that state isn't stable, so the electron falls back down into a lower energy level. That emits a photon, which is why these materials have a long afterglow. If our vacuum is also metastable, it'll eventually decay into a state of lower energy energy. But the excess energy that's released in that process will not just create a nice little glow, it'll tear everything apart. But current estimates say that the half-life of the vacuum is extremely long, about 10 to the 500 years, and by that time all stars would have burnt out and collapsed to black holes, and even the black holes would have evaporated. However, this being a quantum process, there's a small probability that it happens any day now. But don't worry, we'd all be dead before we even knew what was happening. By the way, this video comes with a quiz that lets you check how much you remember. I find Thompson's statements interesting for two reasons. One is that this measurement of the Higgs self-coupling is the biggest selling point for their next bigger particle collider. So now he's basically saying they don't need the bigger collider. 
it's their biggest selling point if you leave aside the ones that they've made up, like that the next bigger collider would tell us something about dark matter or dark energy and other nonsense. The other reason it's interesting is that Thompson seems to agree with me that the next bigger particle collider will not discover any new particle. They say it's because to believe that the Higgs self-coupling tells you something about the stability of the vacuum, you need to assume that there are no other particles to be found. If there were any, these would also enter the calculation. It's somewhat surprising in that I don't know any other particle physicist who actually believes that. This makes me suspect it's not what he meant to say. I suspect he either doesn't know how the calculation works or he was sure that no one who knows how it works would mention this little problem. But that's what you have me for. In summary, particle physicists are trying to measure how the Higgs boson couples with itself. Regardless of what they measure, this will not tell us how the universe will end. And they still haven't learned that each time they lie to you, I'll be here to call them out on it. Did you know there's a free and easy way to learn more about the science behind all the videos that you've been watching? Yes, there is. Have a look at Brilliant. Brilliant offers courses on a large variety of topics in science, computer science and mathematics. All their courses have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. Whether you want to know more about large language models or algebra, want to learn coding in Python or know how computer memory works, Brilliant has you covered. It's a fast and easy way to learn and you can do it whenever and wherever you have the time. And they're adding new courses each month. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with a course on quantum computing or differential equations. And of course, I have a special offer for viewers of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code, you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days. And you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.